everyone and welcome to Rebus Gaming HD. We've got some Dynasty Warriors 8 here for you and this is the Battle of Luko, I believe. I'll have some little bloopers here for you. Damn archers. And Karma hitting me right back. Where's his help? I don't see any. Completely caught off guard there. Anyways. Back to this. So we're using Zhu Ge Liang because uh, all the characters I've already used, so I thought I'd use him again. So I think he was the character that I used the earliest. And he's level 31, uh, using the generic attack boost, health boost, and straight into battle. We're going to kick Pan Zhang's ass here, and this battle I've tried reducing as much as possible, but it's going to be a lengthy one due to the pure fact that there's so much to do. And this battle is kind of, um, well it's hypothetical, and the, the reason behind this battle is to kind of persuade Wu that they need to re-alliance re with Shu. This is basically a battle of wit and strategy. So we've got Zhu Ge Leon going up against Lu Zun, Lu Meng, and Lu Su. Lu Monk, not Lu Meng. And he basically outsmarts all their tactics. Pretty simple, really. You just need to read the messages, listen to what they have to say. This time with Yu Ge Leong, you'll be seeing all his different Muso attacks because it won't be starting from fresh. So we've got his alternate Muso, which is a bit crazy, it's kind of like a ball of lightning and it goes up into the air and keeps on going further and further back. It's, it's quite amusing really because you can hit a enemy officer. <coughs> Sorry about that. You can hit an enemy officer with it and they can just be carried with that ball of lightning for a good 20 30 seconds. And he got his standard Muso, his lightning attack, and his jumping Muso, which is a load of lightning strikes. I also found out that you have the ability to jump whilst attacking. If you just press X whilst you're in the attack sequence, you can uh, move away. I don't find that out until a bit further into the game and that saves my life on so many occasions. Remember back when I played him first I was complaining that he was a bit slow and he is still a bit slow however with the ability to jump whilst you're attacking you can avoid the privates. As we all know on this difficulty the privates are a pain in the ass. I highly recommend that you try and clear the battlefield of all the privates before you even attempt to go after the officers just to make it easier on yourself. So we're nearly coming to an end with this battle, and we move straight on to the next with red life. It seems to be the only colour that I seem to be able to keep in chaos mode. It's ridiculous the amount of damage that gets done to you, and it's certainly a challenge. So I'm just going back here to get some health. And I get a lovely 100, so I'm still looking around. Can't see anything there, so that's a point for you if you're on this battle. The 100 health in the main camp. So now we're moving up to the first gate. And we are going to be taking on Sun Hua. I'm just going to try and sp I'm trying to speed it up as much as possible because it is a long, lengthy film. That uh, film game. Uh, battle. Okay. So straight into rage here, try and reduce as much of his life as possible. The thing that I'm noticing uh, the more you go through these levels, the less effective your rage attack is. I mean, when I was playing on hard, I could pretty much kill him straight away, but this is taking half to three quarters of the life. It is helping out, obviously, but it'd be nicer if I could just get them all done in one fell swoop. Right, and that 
that's Su Huan out of here. Not very nice, fast battle. Like I said in the previous one, uh, because this is on Chaos Mode, there's a lot of interim saves, so I do try and make it look as seamless as possible, but you, you'll probably tell where I've saved it. Just at the points where I know that I'm either going to have to fight an enemy general, or I have to deal with a load of enemies, I'll save it just before, just in case it goes to crap. Because even if you're the luckiest person, that can play this game, you can always get caught out very easily, especially by the privates. So I can't stress enough how important it is to ensure that you can kill all the privates before you go after the enemy officer, or at least get them all in front of you so they can't hit you in the back. Countless times where I've been hit in the back whilst fighting an enemy officer, the enemy officer doesn't stand a chance, but because the private hits me in the back, the enemy officer hits me with a normal attack and bye bye life. It's ridiculous. Very harsh on you with the minor mistakes. Also, if you your four square triangle attack fires like a little ball of wind to the ground, you can actually hold that down and produce four balls, so it's a bigger area of effect. So we got here, Gu Yong. Send him in here a little bit. Rage back up again. So they just appear out of nowhere, you need to be very careful. Always check your back. Any damage is bad, we doing anything to these guys. Definitely wanted a challenge, and I have to say, this game has actually provided me with a challenge. The majority of the time, my own enemy force ends up killing enemy officers. Move straight on to Cheng Pu. Fortunately for me, his affinity is weak to mine, so I should make the battle a lot easier. It's just a shame there's so many privates all around here. This is the alternate move, so he's lying. Unfortunately, he managed to escape it, but you can see in the background all the uh, private space captain still stuck in it. A couple of hits from privates, and I'm back into my red life. Oh, and look what we've got here. Yeah, bloody arches. This battle. Oh. This has got to be the most difficult battle I've played. Not because of the layout of the map, not because of the enemy officers, not because of the level that I am, but purely because of the center of this map when Wu decides to launch an ambush attack. The entire map is covered with archers. Well, they're still getting me now, look, I've got nearly no life left. This is what's so annoying about him. I miss him with that move, so brilliant. So I'm now on the defensive, making sure I'm out of the range of the archers so they can't kill me. Think for future, if I uh, know that I'm going up against a map that's heavy archers, I will probably use the skill that reduces the damage. But I don't know how much it'll reduce it by, because obviously I'm a low level character. I might try it out. Right, okay, so Zhuge Liang is suspicious about these empty areas, and as he should be because they're all trying to plan a fire attack. However, if you have common sense and you look at the map, why would you not check these? I can't understand why people would just skip right past them and you fall straight into a trap. Just simple, simple strategy and common sense. Why would you not look here? A quick look, and then you can go down see. So, Lu Fan broke his ambush and I'm just gonna murder his ass. Well, come on, look at that. How can you how can you defend against that? That's a bit unfair. Come out of my Muso cutscene and I've got two of the hitting me on the back. 
Wonderful. So now that I've got rid of all the privates, piece of piss, it's not a problem at all now. It's just me being 1v1. PvP. Bring it. Could just juggle this guy forever, but let's just get him out of the way and move on to the next one. There's no greater weapon than a prepared mine. That should put an end to the fire attack, but they are bound to have prepared something else as well. The fire attack unit has been defeated! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Ooh, we can plan uh -huh. We should remain vigilant as we advance. The Wu officer Lu Xun is said to be in the central area. We need to verify whether this information is true. Make sure there's no... So, Lu Xun is supposed to be in the central garrison. Again, that seems like a bit of an obvious trap, even for the simple mind person, never mind a strategist. So, I am still looking for life at every possible moment because I've realised in chaos that enemies don't like dropping stuff. So, uncovered another enemy ambush. Bush, bush. This is Juran. Taking one of all the lightning and trying to get rid of the privates. Oh, he's escaped it again. Just try and keep him away from you from you while you take him out. I don't even care about wasting moves on this guy, right? So we've got rid of all them, so again, straight up PvP, me and him. Don't even have to worry. 2v1, one singles joining in on the action. Find your own enemy, you always kill my guys. Go on, disappear, do one. So, major abuse of the Affinity Storm Rush system, as always, how else are you meant to defeat this difficulty, especially at this level. Moving on now, another enemy officer, we've got Zhu Yi, Zhu Yi even. Now I'm just grouping them all up, come on you must know why I'm doing this, why would I group them all up? Yeah, that's it. Fastest way to take care of these guys. Oh, they are, and then we killed Zhu Zhu Yi then. He took more damage than the unit commander. Oh my god, they dropped some health. It's a miracle. <laughs> Straight gonna get that. Why are my allies so far behind? Come on. There we go. One more bites the dust. You always seem to surpass the expectations people have of you. Well, you're really hiding in a very good stance, so you fun. Full rage, brilliant. I suppose that's one benefit of having so many privates around you, but probably the only benefit of having so many privates around you. <laughs> I think this is a guy I actually get, yeah, you can see him in the background. Oh, I got out of it again! Plenty of time to reduce all his privates to ashes. Some private. This battle is just going to take a bit longer because I can't abuse the storm rush. But as you can see, the enemy AI, enemy officers, they're not that difficult to take out, especially the ones that aren't well named. So I'm just juggling him like crazy. I think 
I might try and uh, find weapons that have that skill of con consecutive hits and uh, do more damage. I think that might help me um, speed up the kill of these guys. Because I can juggle them for pretty much a turn. It just takes forever. Yeah, there we go. Zinkai took him out. And if you remember correctly, they said that Luzon was in the middle, so all I'm doing here is building up all my rage. Ah, well, sorry, my rage is already full. Building up all my moves, so I don't want to take any chances. I want to go in there prepared. And then I get a little sidetracked and decide to take it all out. But you know. Who plays this game and doesn't go through all these enemy officers? I think I get it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's not right. It's like no damage, it's ridiculous. I'll look here in there. How much damage did you see that? That attack took a third of my life out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get away from him, man. Get away. That's uh, another ambush. This time it's just a unit commander. So, objective one is to secure the garrison, and to do that, you just have to take out the unit commander. Preferably doing it before Luzun gets here. Yeah, I got him that time. Barely does any damage, but it's just amusing to watch. Right, so we've captured the garrison, and it says distract Luzun. So, what we're going to do here is wait for him. And we're going to waste the traffic zone. There you go, that's how you do a fire attack. Not very difficult. They walk straight into it, what an idiot. Get rid of all the enemy privates, move on to Lu Zoom. And then the most annoying and difficult part of any Dynasty Warriors game I've ever played is coming up now. Nice little dodge there, that could have been nasty. Waste a moons out to save my life. And yet again my my allies take him out. Now this bit, I will not lie, took me an hour minimum. Probably two hours to do. And it was repeated, and repeated, and repeated. And as you will find out, the reason as to why is up those ladders. God damn arches. So, we've got two enemy officers to take out. Zhu Sheng. See all the arrows coming past already. This is just a nightmare. And Zhang Wing. Or Kin. So, best way to do this one. In my honest opinion, there's no best way to do it. Just keep on running. Keep on running. 
Run, defend, run, defend. Look at this. It's, it's... I nearly died. Unfortunately, I've got a rage save, but it doesn't really help me out if I try and take out the enemy archers. But the problem with trying to take out the enemy archers is the respawn. This is why it's so bad. This attack him out. There's one down, one to go. Tiny little bit of life and some defense, which should help out. Look, there you go. Nice little long line of them again. You can't even attack them because the line is so long that whilst you're attacking them, you see, this is, what, this is why it was so frustrating. I'm trying to take out an enemy officer and I get attacked by these goddamn arrows. They do more damage than their attacks. So, the only way I can recommend it is try and get in there, use your rage and switch counter this guy, build your, build your rage back up. Use your move so, it's just... You just have to defend like crazy, it's ridiculous. You try and attack and you'll get done by the archers. See? Look at that, one, two, three. So what I'm actually doing here is open my <laughs> open my uh, allies up kill him, which they've nearly done. And after I killed him, all the archers disappeared, which is brilliant. And I couldn't save that any faster. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Now, the reason I'm skipping these guys is because we're trying to do another tactic, which is to take um, Lumong by surprise. And I don't know here, like an idiot. So, even though I'm Zhuge Liang, I'm supposed to be distracting him. But because I'm playing him, I have to do this, diver this diversion tactic anyway. So I need to go behind him, catch him off guard. There we go. Blue Meng is in a blue monk is in a panic, but still a bitch to kill. <laughs> so same old tactic. Try and get rid of the bloody privates. I cannot stress that enough. Really, I cannot. Out some of the is busy with my little lightning bolt. I'm trying to take as many of these guys out as I can. We've got some gatekeeper defenders, vanguard or whatever you want to call them. They, they take even more than being. It's like every every enemy officer. It's like fighting Lubu in the Gulag Gate, <laughs> but at least these guys flinch. It's just the amount of life they take. Well, from me anyway. You watch my allies, man. They're burning. That's why it's that's probably another good point to ensure that you bring your allies with you. So if there's any like enemies near them or something like that, just just clear them out, let them, because then they'll start following you. He is not killing him, he's mine. Yes. So how many times I had to attack that guy? Oh, that's crazy. Not for the faint hearted, this, not at all. I do apologise for that. Seen as seen as before. So now I've got to take on Ganning, Ling Tong, and Deng Feng. Uh, Ganning and Ling Tong end up grouping together. 
well, they'd end up doing it because I make sure that they mix up. Oh, look at that. Archers! Archers are what make this game impossible. As you can see on the map, I've got Ling Tong coming behind me. Oh, that was close. I'm trying to wait for him to come. There he is. You can see him now. The reason as to why I should be waiting for him should be obvious. No point using rage on one enemy officer when you can use it on two. Oh, those arrows flying past me again. Oh, you got me. I guess you will do for Look at them all. You always seem to surpass the expectations people have of you. Use my strategies. You will not escape. This is going to be fun. This predicted you will fall before me. Here we go. I did end up taking out nearly all of those, which is good. Yeah, one one private left and just Ling Tong now. So, breathe again now. <laughs> Archer there. Oh no, just be a guess. My eyes are going funny. Get out of the way. Oh, <laughs> damn, that was close. Oh. Zhang Bao taking him out from it. I suppose I can't really complain, they had him quite a lot of work. Alright, so just ding thing left now. There's no way I'm going against that guy without a full rage bar. <laughs> I take half his life out with about 50 attacks and then Guan Xing just hits him once and takes his other half out. <laughs> Ridiculous. Unfortunately I couldn't fill my entire rage bar up because there weren't enough enemies. But I've got the majority of my moves so filled so at least I can use them and his weak to my affinity which is brilliant. No help. Great. There's that little jumping trick. Use of Storm Rush. So now that I've played Zuga Leong a second time, and now that I realise that you can do things like pressing X and attacking, I think he's um, alright. 
I wouldn't say I would still say he's not the best character, he's still a bit slow. But his overall playability, you know, is it's good. His Muso attacks are not bad and like I say, I'm not a fan of the alternate one in terms of power, however it is very enjoyable to watch enemies stuck on a ball floating around like the out of control, that's pretty amusing. But um, overall, I don't know, I'd say 7, 7 out of 10, pretty, pretty solid, not proper vanilla, not average, not majorly above average, but okay. Can't get them all the time. And Ding Feng is having one last go at me. Oh, you sneaky shit! Oh, he's not having it, is he? Look at this. The same thing happens with Lu Su as well. But I'm, well, less life than that. I'm just thinking back to myself, oh, it's just karma, isn't it? Typical, you know, the amount of times where I've been saved by health that you can't even see. And I'm thinking, oh, I've got to have been proper lucky. And then all of a sudden, the same thing happens to me, so karma. So just Lu Su and Song Quan left, or Tuan, Tai Tian. Both with to my affinity, but I ain't, ain't wasting, you know, anything, especially after my last attempt at fighting this guy. I'll try and clean up all his soldiers next to him, so it's just me and him. So I took care of his officer helper, and I'm looking at trying to build my rage back up here, so that's why I ran away. Plus, trying to get a bit of health. I don't really want to be stuck with him. So I find a couple of enemies, I shouldn't really pick that health up, so the Musa would have charged a lot faster. But, you know, mistakes happen. This guy just won't die. Die! <laughs> yes! Enemies here. So I've got my Muso just in case he tries to do a Muso attack against me. I've got a little bit of life saving there. I say the key to this difficulty is not rushing. I mean, obviously, if you're maxed out level 99 with your OP weapons and you're maxed out with the life, um, uh, life health and life health. Life, defense, and attack. Yeah, you can rush him, but when you're at this sort of level, you don't want to be rushing him. You want to be taking your time, thinking about it from a strategical point of view. You do not want to get stuck with these guys because they are nasty. And that, with that said, that's the end of the match. And that has been one pain in the ass battle. Like I said, archers, archers, archers. We all hate archers. And this one was full of them. So I'll see you on the next episode.